How do? What a shitty day. Come on then, kid. Come on. Right, let's get on it. I'm going to break this vlog into three parts. Uh, firstly, I'm going to talk briefly about body cams. Secondly, just let me get a bit of angle on that, guys. Secondly, I'm going to talk about the incident that this, uh, this guy's got 18 months for. And thirdly, if you're young in service, new officer, not confident, uh, you've been in a situation like this or maybe facing it, which is possible, what to do, maybe, again. I can only sort of give you my experience on things like this. So firstly, body cams. I want to be in a fan when I was in the job, dynamic security, on K-Wing, walking about, 200 prisoners out. You all right, Mr. S? Yes, Smithy, what are, you, what are you fucking doing? Get behind your fucking door. That sort of thing. That's how it goes, yeah? Uh, conversations, you know, not all polite. Uh, Queen's English and stuff like that. It's a rough place. There were some rough lads. But I got on with most lads. There's always going to be prisoners that don't want to interact and don't want anything to do with staff. The vast majority of people I got on with, I still get on with them. There's lots of lads now I'm going to be interviewing. Some who've just got out, lads who've been out a long time and the like. Dynamic security. Yeah, I was once in the private sector, uh, two landings. So when you were on the ones landing, there's landing above with cells. There's like a walkway above you, so you can't see up there. I'm effing and jeffing. Unbeknown to me, Mike Goodwin, the number one governor, who's a very good governor, stern fella. You know, never really smiled. However, he was a good governor. Came from public service to private sector. Was above me with a manager. Yeah? So, as I finished effing and jeffing with this guy and put him behind his door, I come out, I saw him, I thought, oh, here we go. The manager come down after he heard all the conversation uh you know i did sort of de-escalate his situation the lad did go behind his door even though the uh the language was fruity and although my manager said i could have handled it a little bit better then the number one governor didn't have anything to say about that so i weren't for body cams yeah prisoners out you're interacting however now Prisoners banged up most of the time. I would imagine this incident has happened. The wings locked up and somebody has gone in a cell. So body cams, first thing you need to know, the prison service can't afford new body cams and everyone's not going to get one. The body cams mostly come from the police. If, and here's a solution, prison service headquarters, Ministry of Justice, if the prison service gave prison maintenance departments back to the prisons like strange ways where i worked maintenance department worked for the prison paid by the prison service give them back to them took them off the private sector that are making millions yeah small job on the healthcare when i worked whiteboard Maintenance, it's now private. Same lad, it's coming all. Give him a brew, good lad. Bit of a laugh and a joke, half an hour. Four screws, four raw plugs. I had a whiteboard. It was a whiteboard, it was white. Yeah? Asked him to put it up. Brought his drill and his tools. Five minutes, it's done. Brew and a chat. He went after. Phones me up. Would you like to see the invoice for that job? Yeah, 400 and odd quid. 460 quid for half an hour. That's private sector charging the prison service, putting up a whiteboard, four screws, four raw plugs. So fuck right off the private sector, give maintenance departments back to prison, save a wedge of money, and buy body cams. That's what my nan used to say. Solutions, not problems. So body cam. If you are going, there should be one on every wing at least, if in a lockdown situation someone is going to a cell i'm presuming somebody else is with this lad most prisons most areas cameraed up you go in a cell on your own in a lockdown situation somebody finds out whether something happens or not you should be disciplined yeah no need to go in a cell if two prisoners are behind the door unless that cell's on fire preserve life they're kicking shit out of each other. One's got the better, you know, serious assault. At which point you alert staff with an alarm bell and get more staff. Shouldn't be going in. You can talk to people through the door. There should be two of you there. I always had two people. 
my oppo stood at side here this lads i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and threatening me i've got someone listening yeah you can talk to people through there so the actual incident i, I can only go what the papers report but obviously this lad's gone in uh and he's i'm a dis prisoner now if he went in with somebody else he's compromised them now because no doubt when he comes out and he's gone a bit over the top red mist you know this guy's bleeding or oh, you need to back me up that sort of thing you are compromising your mates you're out of order no place for thug ray go directly to jail which he is going so here's the thing he's gone in it says nine or ten punches come back out so the cellmate yeah your mate's bleeding officer just kicked him in a couple of things gonna happen you do nothing or you press your cell bell now yeah any officer goes to a cell a prisoner's bleeding duty of care you need to get some health care over that's usually a nurse a nurse to come to the door check him out see what's happened listen to his story if this lad is injured badly enough and a nurse comes over now it's generating paperwork so it's an incident if you've gone in a cell there's been no restraint because that's what used to happen people are going to sell beat shit out of a prisoner press an alarm bell restrain him he assaulted me you know what i mean you're covered you got paperwork and i don't mean you're covered not for that yeah so this paperwork being generated this guy has tried to coerce staff there will be places where staff will back them up depends how serious it is if you're a young officer yeah these are things you need to bear in mind if you're going to a cell with somebody who goes in and assaults them and then comes out and tells you you need to back them up you need to find someone you trust yeah not at that minute maybe agree with them do whatever you need to do or you feel safe doing because people can be quite intimidating and threatening you need someone you trust yeah whether that's a, another officer a senior officer principal officer or cm whatever they're called now governor whatever whatever grade it is you need some, someone you can trust to support you because it's very difficult this situation somebody's filled somebody in the bleeding paperwork generated there's no cover if he's if he's not sounded an alarm bell you know not said anything right bang to rights body cam first guy in the cell if you need to go in and it should be to preserve life or whatever yeah otherwise you don't need to go in so if you are a young member of staff young in service yeah you go to a cell with an experienced guy the wings locked down he wants to go in a cell you need to know why if it's a private matter yeah what you should do is bring the prisoner out because there's two of you you can do that and go somewhere private to discuss something no need to go in a cell if you're going in cells should be a body cam that is to protect the staff and to protect the prisoners that's how it is guys uh he's going to jail and, and bang to rights there will be plenty of people i used to work with uh who would agree with what I'm saying now, but be too fearful to say anything. I come across plenty of staff who challenged the bullies, refused to go along with them. Um, it's a very difficult one, but times are changing. If someone is behind a door, unless it's preserved life or something similar, you don't need to go in that cell. If you do need to go in, you get some of your mates as backup and you get a body cam. That's how it is. If somebody asks you to falsify paperwork, yeah, or they tell you how you do or should be doing your paperwork and they're all sat down together, that shouldn't happen anyway. Just don't do the paperwork. I'll do it later. Again, seek advice. You can get sacked for falsifying paperwork. You know, there's no room in the prison service for bullies. This guy's going to jail and rightly so. And I'm not taking a moral high ground. You know, that's what I always believe. Plenty of people used to challenge him, but, but there is a culture. There is a, a macho bully culture. So new in service staff. Yeah, that's my advice. If you don't need to go in a cell, you don't need to. You can talk at them at the door. Private matter, you bring them out of the area so they have got some privacy. Always two people to go in a cell, that's locked. And there you go. And don't let anyone on the subject of paperwork just to finish off paperwork 
you know, when I was on K-Wing, there was an incident, we'd sit down and fill it in. I remember my senior officer, wing manager, giving me my paperwork and said, yours don't match up with everyone else's. I had put the wrong person down as I've, having applied handcuffs. You need to change that. I says, no, that's what I thought did it. No, you need to change it, you're wrong. Don't matter, that's my paperwork. That's how I saw the incident. Another thing on paperwork, do the best paperwork you can, yeah? Let's give a scenario like that. You go to a cell, two lads are fighting, you call the troops, you're the first two in the cell. One of the lads who's getting a better goal for you ends up in a restraint. Set the scene. Set the scene, we heard a commotion. We went to the cell, yeah? Prisoner A was knocking the shit out of prisoner B. We feared for prisoner B. We called the troops, pressed an alarm. Then we entered the cell. Paint a picture. Somebody reading that doesn't know you, might know nothing about prison service procedures. You need to say exactly what you did. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Um, gonna be getting back to interviews. I hope this helps some people. If you would like to ask me something or like me to vlog something, drop me an email. Uh, if you would like to come on the channel, drop me an email. If you can't email, get someone to do it for you. Thanks to everyone who supported the channel. Um, been quite busy this week. I ain't got round to answering any comments. I have read most of them though. Yeah, thanks to people who support me on Patreon. Thanks to everyone who's bought me a brew. Stephen, party and shot as always. Hope have the best weekend possible. How do, lad? Yes, come on then. Thanks for coming. I'll see you.